What's up, nerds? Welcome back. We're your hosts. I'm Chad. I'm Jake. This week, we're going to talk about Justice League Snyder Cut. We're also going to talk about Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because the first episode came out on Friday the 19th. Uh, and this week we are sponsored by Crybaby Craig's. It's the best damn hot sauce around. We're also sponsored by Ray's Energy Drinks. Zero sugar, zero calories, zero crash. So let's get into it. This is the All Things Nerd Podcast. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another episode this week of the All Things Nerd podcast. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone who uh, participated in our live stream last week. We had a blast. So much fun. So yeah. much fun. I mean, we were only going to do an hour, and I think the video ended up being... Uh, it was like two and a half hours, yeah. yeah. But, you know, only because you guys were still talking to us, so yeah. I guess it'll, they'll go as long as you guys want them to go for. Yeah, yeah. moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we're going to try and do those... Something like that, at least once a month. Yeah. It might not we, we always We might switch be... up the games a little bit. Like, we might not do a power hour every time, but we're going to do some sort of game. Yeah, some sort of game. We, we were talking about it a little bit today. We yeah. have some cool ideas coming up. Yeah. Uh, stuff that's going to benefit you guys as far as prizes go and shit like that. Yeah, we might not just do we might not just do trivia giveaways. We might just do a, you know, one big giveaway for an episode. Who knows? We're working on some cool stuff. We got some t-shirts coming in the near future. and some t-shirts, some, yeah. uh, some stickers... Um, yeah, a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so let's get into uh, the Snyder Cut. I mean, that's oh my so god, it was so good. It was so good. I mean, if you've seen the shit version, uh, we call it the Justice League. It's the Joe Sweden version of uh, Justice League. Watch it because, and the, and then watch this one, the Snyder Cut. It's night and day. It's yeah, unbelievable, it's incredible the differences. Uh, right off the bat, the opening sequence is completely different. We don't get that stupid CGI oh, mustache removal yeah. uh, Superman bullshit no. um, where he's talking and being weird and no, yeah. has a fake lip. Fake, a fake face. <laughs> yeah. The whole body from his nose down was just... Someone else. Weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the nose up, he looked like Henry Cavill. From yeah. from the nose down, he looked like Ron Howard. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Ron Howard. Yeah, great Sorry, guy, Ron. but looks nothing like Henry Cavill. No. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... So it starts off super dramatic. It it basically starts at the death of Superman. You know, Sorry, I'm holding back a sneeze. I didn't want to do it into the <laughs> fucking microphone. Sorry. Just turn. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Sorry. <laughs> Our sinuses are a little free and open today. Yeah. We had a uh, Indian food. Some spicy Indian food. Thanks, uh, Amrita, for the plug. Yeah, was, it was, was so good. Yeah. Um, for those of you that uh, live near the Bloomington, Minnesota area, it's Hyderabad. <laughs> Hyderabad. Hyderabad. It's something like that. It's. It'd be cool if it was Hyderabad. It would be cool if it but was Hyderabad. It's, it's, it's like Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Yeah. Really great food, though. Yeah. yeah, it's right off of Penn and uh, American Boulevard in Bloomington. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Snyder Cut, uh, just so good. Yeah, it's, I mean, we our, our whole our whole shtick is now is we're just going to talk about the important parts and not take an hour and a half to tell a story here, so we're trying... <laughs> not try take and, an hour and a half yeah. to describe a 30-minute episode. It was, what I liked <laughs> about it is that it, they split it up into chapters... So there was, what, seven or eight chapters? They did six chapters, and six then there chapters. was an epilogue yeah. instead of, like, a post credit scene. So there's good stopping points if you don't want to watch a four-hour movie. Yeah. Point being. Yeah, I think that's what we did. We watched the first four parts and yeah. then paused it and then finished it up separately separately yeah. later. Yeah. Um, and it was really good that way. Yeah, it, was really nice. And it made sense. Uh, first off, we actually get a... St- a story arc for the Flash and Cyborg. I mean, they're like literally the two. They're the main characters of the movie. It's yeah. not Batman and Superman like yeah. Justice League made it look yeah. seem. Yeah. Uh, Cyborg's character is super important because he was basically created from 
A mother box. A mother box. Yeah. Um, they Which also the call three, it the, yeah. the change engine. Basically, it's three boxes. The Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. That are just unlimited power. They have yeah. the ability to create and destroy. And when merged light. together, which is called the Trinity, they're unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. And, man, it was so cool. It was so cool. I, I don't even know where to... I don't... I, I could talk for hours about the movie itself, which yeah. but we're not doing that. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> it's I mean, just it was, really, really good. Yeah. I mean, it was a, a four-hour movie. Ben Affleck off. is not a bitch in it. No, they... Uh, he, he's actually gotten a lot of praise for his yeah. portrayal as Batman yeah. and Bruce Wayne in this, because um, he's a little bit more human. Yeah, and uh, Joss, in Justice League, he was a big weenie. He was running, hide, every time you saw him, he was hiding under a rock or behind something. And this one, yeah. he's in the fight and he's yeah. doing cool shit. Um, yeah, like you said, he's yeah. got, there's more emotion to his character. It was awesome. Yeah, and they explained some more of his like suit tech because mm-hmm. if you remember in the the crappy version, like he's taking the laser blast to his arm and he's just like taking it. Yeah. And it's like how? Yeah. But they actually show like Alfred Superman developing it. Yeah, and they show um, Superman just like blast him with his. Oh yeah, with his laser eyes, eyes after they bring him back it. to life. Well, I mean, the one arm he has to remove, but the other yeah. he takes it. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's so good. It's badass. Um, the color yeah, of the, it's, the entire film, yeah. it feels like it's a continuation of Dawn of Justice, the Batman mm-hmm. vs. Superman movie. It There's no weird family out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like the only residence in this abandoned town just happens <laughs> to be Wanda and Pietro Maximoff <laughs> <laughs> and their parents. <laughs> yeah, that was just the strangest thing that they did in that movie, and yeah, they just didn't. In this movie, that that's not the case at all. And it's, yeah, it's literally just an abandoned city. Yeah. Um, which makes a lot more sense because there was no nuclear sense. town yeah. uh, that had a meltdown, so everyone evacuated. Yeah. Everyone, not everyone, except for these <laughs> four random suburban this families in stubborn, Russia. Yeah. Uh, also, let's start Steppenwolf, man. Steppenwolf looks bad. Well, first off, this one is rated R. Yeah. Yep. So when there's brutal fight scenes, there is blood. Yeah. Which is dope. You see alien guts when they die instead of just like a green mist that makes no sense. Yeah. That was dumb. Yeah. It it, it made sense. Joe Sweden hopefully is like crawling under a rock right now after the reviews of this movie came out. Yeah. Maybe he can go back and reboot angel or something Buffy the vampire slayer or something dumb (laughs) that's what he's good at uh but yeah this movie's so cool um yeah so steppenwolf looks like a straight up fucking demon i mean yeah and a warrior like the horns that he has in this movie compared to justice league are actual horns they're not a helmet that he's wearing yeah and he has like modular armor that adjusts to you know where he's getting hit from yeah it's dope it moves like when he gets pissed, and he yeah. goes like, Psh, and they like all the spikes like, yeah. yeah, it's dope. And when he's getting hit with arrows, like they're actually like piercing the armor, hitting him, yeah. They're not, instead of yeah. just like bouncing off, and yeah. he's not just like flicking arrows out of the way from the the Amazons. The Amazons, yeah, that was. He's cool. actually like taking damage, so you can see how powerful this dude mm-hmm. really is. Mm-hmm. But also, what's crazy about it is this movie kind of makes him out to be like middle management. Like he's kind of a, yeah, he's like the Michael Scott of, <laughs> of, of dark sides, uh, army. Yeah. Where he's not fully, uh, they they don't have qualified. a ton of, <laughs> and they don't, they don't have a ton of confidence in him to get the job done. Uh, yeah. but speaking on that is we also get to actually see dark side. Yeah. Which is awesome. And that was a, a huge difference also was, when they showed like the the flashback war when Darkseid's forces first came to Earth mm. and fought like the Atlanteans, the Amazons, yeah. uh, the gods and men <clears throat> all together, mm-hmm. they were actually it was actually Darkseid that was there. Yeah. Yep. Instead of just Steppenwolf, who then gets like hit with one arrow and yeah. then cries and has to get dragged away. Yeah. What? Like they, it, the storytelling of this actually made sense. Yeah, it was way better. Granted, it was a four-hour movie. I mean, it was long. It was long, but it was entertaining. And it made, but because it was so long, it made sense. Yeah, 
all the story plots and parts actually came together and made sense. Yeah, it was cool. It was really, really cool. And see, like the like the scene when they bring Superman back to life was just way better yeah. than, you know, the Justice League. Um, sorry, I keep calling him that. You, you're no, that's... That, so I, just, that's, I've tried I to, saw it online and I was like, this just describes it. Yeah. It's not the Justice League. It's a Joss Whedon filtered yeah. Instagram post about the Justice way better. League. The fight between the Justice League and Superman was better. Yeah, it was... Yeah more intense um it wasn't just lois lane showing up and then clark being like oh my bad yeah sorry guys i know who i am now like even after the fight ended like he had to like rediscover who he was and like remember and stuff like that yeah man i'm trying to think of that what are like the key points of this movie uh the differences is the key points is because that's where it made sense yeah. And the differences in the two movies. Um, well, even just the dialogue in scenes that were the same back yeah, to oh back. Yeah, oh my god, it wasn't corny. Like, they... Yeah. Joss Whedon tried to make, like, dumb jokes between the characters. And I still thought that the Snyder Cut had humor in it. Oh, well, yeah. But it made sense. Yeah. It was in character for yeah. what was being said. You know, like... Well, like, that whole... Se- Arthur it- Curry is sarcastic as shit. Yeah. But we don't. I like that part actually. Where I don't think it was supposed to be funny, but just when he's like, "How do we know we can trust Cyborg or whatever?" And Cyborg's like, "You trying to say something?" And he goes, "Oh, I'm saying it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. And we don't get that cheesy scene of Aquaman sitting on the the lasso the of lasso. truth and like basically just yeah showing that he's a big old softy like yeah. We're all gonna die. You're really attractive. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Like this dude. he still got to be funny. You still got to show, see like the emotions of him, like yeah. as he's talking about like his dad, and then in this version, Cyborg's dad, uh, Cyrus, does die. Yeah, he didn't sure. die in yeah. the the Justice version. Uh, but Aquaman is like, hey, we gotta cut him some slack. Like he just lost his father. Like yeah. you get to see the emotion. Uh, that Aquaman carries as being, you know, both a man and an Atlantean. Yeah, he's not But a in a way that makes sense. Yeah, he's not a total douchebag. Yeah, I mean, he's just a bro. Yeah. <laughs> I who, did, who can I did, talk to fish? I did like that they didn't make his hair so, like, fluffy. Yeah. And, like, permed. Or yeah. whatever you want to call gold, it. In gold, and he didn't have as many highlights yeah, and it just, lowlights. Yeah, it wasn't so pretty. It was just, like, long The hair. scenes when he was... Where it clearly... I mean, he just kind of air dries you know so like he's not gonna have a perfect blowout <laughs> like <laughs> that's the word i was looking for yeah. yes he had a but in justice league, or justice league he had a full-on blowout in every scene when his hair wasn't wet he had a blowout yeah he looked like was, uh what, God, what was that dude's name he's like uh, fran dresser uh, i was thinking uh fabio fabio <laughs> yeah. no fabio's hair was famously like straightened though was it straightened i yeah. thought it was like waving curly had, like straightened like okay. gold blocks uh, why do I know this I don't <laughs> product of the 80s my man <laughs> <laughs> um but we wham oh. <laughs> 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 uh, but also with that uh like just their I guess it comes down to just the overall color scheme yeah you know things aren't brightened up like there's literally a scene <clears throat> where the the lighting is very similar in both versions, mm. but uh, Wonder Woman's like jacket that she's wearing is clearly brightened, yeah. So that like the red and the gold buttons of her jacket pop, mm. and in the Snyder Cut, it, you can tell that she's wearing like a maroon jacket, yeah, and that it's nice, but it's not like, hey, let's make this the focal point just. So that everyone knows that it's still Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Even though the actress hasn't changed partway through the film, people might have forgotten. So let's make sure that her colors are visible. Right, yeah. Like, So stupid. Uh, A big thing that happened that we didn't get in Justice League uh, was we get to meet Martian Manhunter for the first time. And it's General Swanwick? Sandwick? I don't remember what his his name is. He is is the African-American general guy. Yeah, the Air Force general. From uh, 
Man of Steel, Superman. Man of Steel, Superman, yeah. That, I think uh, he has a small part in... He does, in uh, Batman vs. Superman, yeah. Because yeah. he's the one that Lois goes to about the bullets, because they were custom bullets. In, oh, right, yeah. 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 You're right. So it turns out that he has been Martian Manhunter all along. Yeah. Which is pretty fucking cool. And for those of you that don't know, Martian Manhunter is an alien. Yeah. He's... Green. And Yeah. Like a... He's green. He's, he's like Squidward colored. Uh... Kind of like a palish blue green. Um, kind of don't know how old he is. Um, at least there's not like a defined he's age old. for him. He's very old. Yeah, he's fairly ancient. He's been around but since the a... original time of heroes, and the first time of heroes was when like Hercules and shit like that was. Yeah, and Zeus fought alongside yeah. the Amazons, yeah. and Atlantis hadn't sank yet. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So. In this, you we finally get to see him, and he kind of basically says that, like, I didn't think the Time of Heroes was ever going to happen in my lifetime, and yeah. I want to be a part of it because I like it here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. And it was cool. He's a shapeshifter, because yeah. we actually see him earlier in the film. As Marth- Martha Kent? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that entire scene plays out differently also, where instead of Martha coming to see Lois at... The Daily Planet. Yep. Uh, she just goes to Lois and Clark's apartment. Apartment. Yeah. Kind of talks to her, tells about how she, you know, she lost the farm. Uh, Which you know. is basically, I mean, it's Martian Manhunter the whole time, and he's yeah. just trying to get Lois to come back, go back to her life. Yeah. Yeah. Because she hasn't been doing stuff. Yeah, and I mean, they have this professional relationship, this friendship, and he trusts her. Because she does good work as a journalist. And, you know, he's trying to motivate her to get back out there and live her life. But the cool scene is... Is, well, it's kind of... It's a two-part cool scene, in my opinion. Because mm-hmm. so, Martha leaves the apartment. Because at this point, she's still... Marsha Manhunter Mar- is still shapeshift as Mar- Martha. Marsha Manhunter? Marsha Manhunter. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> uh... You know, steps outside of the apartment, her eyes start to glow red, and I was like, what? And then turns into shapeshifts into Martian Manhunter. And then back into General Swanwick. Yeah. Swanwick. Whatever his I name is. I, we should have looked that up, but... Eh, yeah, it's okay. That guy. That okay. guy. And then he leaves. And then it shows Lois, like, sitting on her bed. She opens up her dresser drawer. You see, like, her press pass for the Daily Planet, but right next to it is a pregnancy test. Boom. I won't drop your mic because it looks expensive, but... (laughs) Well, (laughs) it wasn't that bad. Um, But then it shows Lois basically, like, get up and go to the bathroom, and then it's kind of left open-ended. She's pregnant. She preggers. She's pregnant. Zack Snyder even... Which, have you ever seen... Kind of, like, hinted slash confirmed it. Have you seen Mallrats? A long time ago. Man, there's a part in there... This is way off topic, but there's a part in there... Deep cut. There's a part in there where uh, Brody is talking about Lois and Superman's kid. And he's like, there's no possible way that her womb could take Superman's kid. He would fucking finger blast his way out of there. Finger. He doesn't say finger blast. <laughs> he would tear through her, through her womb like it was nothing. The only person who has uh, the womb that could handle Superman's kid is Wonder Woman. And then he says, not to mention... That uh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mom. The only way Lo- Lois could take a cum blast from Superman because it would be like a shotgun yeah. firing through her body, <laughs> is with a kryptonite condom, but that would kill him. Well, it would probably just give him symptoms of ED. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to the movie. Great movie. <laughs> so I just had to. That part. <laughs> It does raise an eyebrow. Yes. Because you're like, oh, my baby's kicking. But if it's Superman's kid, you would kick right through her fucking stomach. Oh, hi, Katie. <laughs> For those of you that saw that, that's my dog. This is his dog. She's being super clingy right now. Ooh. Oh, don't growl at the people outside. You're fine. Just go. But don't growl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then on top of all of that, we get Superman in black suit. Yep, black suited Superman, which is kind of cool because they saw the Schneider cut was the original, like, 
three movies it was supposed to be. If he I think this be... one was supposed to be two, and then but like all in all, yeah, it was we were to be gonna three. get three films. Yeah, they were gonna dive into why. I will just fill that in for some of you who don't know comics as well as we do. Yeah, uh, the black suit um, harnesses the sun's power uh, more for Clark. Because um, those of is... you that have ever worn a black shirt in the summertime, you yeah. know it gets way hotter than if you wear yeah. like a white shirt or a blue shirt. And Superman draws his power from the sun. That's yeah, yeah. he absorbs the the sun's radiation. Yeah. So the suit, because he was just resurrected, is supposed to make him a little stronger, faster. Rather than if yeah. you put the blue suit back on, he wouldn't have been as strong. Yeah. So, but yeah. So that's black suit Superman, a... badass. And yeah. they kept it throughout the movie. Yeah. Like I thought maybe towards the end. They would show him in the blue suit again, but at the like end of the movie when he rips his shirt open, yeah, his black suit, which yeah. is dope. It was super cool, and no uh, mullet though. No mullet. No mullet though. Well, that's okay. Yeah, like longer hair would have been cool. I still have. He a... was only dead for like six months, and okay. your hair kind of. I the growing. only thing I still have a problem with in both the Justice League and the Schneider cut is that. When they resurrect Superman, he's fully clothed. But then when he fucking wakes up and is, like, in the sky, he's completely shirtless. I get it. Henry Cavill's a very chiseled man, but... I think it was because when the Flash, like, burned all of his clothes off except for his pants. Well, they can't show a super peen. Why? If there's no dong... (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, it's, uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. You know what I'm talking about? No. You know, there's like an episode where they get like picked to do like a, a review of a movie and it's like a Dolph, it's like a crappy like Dolph Lundgren like action movie, but it's supposed to be like the sixth installment in the movie and okay. they get all pissed off because in all of the other movies they show his dick <laughs> <laughs> and in this one they like geared it towards like kids. So it's like PG 13. So the, the gang as they call it and yeah. always funny gets all pissed off and they're like if we don't get to see his dong what's the point of this movie <laughs> <laughs> that's <Sorry>. fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, but yeah no uh, I thought that was weird but yeah you're right it probably no. just burned off it's whatever yeah I mean yeah the fighting was way better no. um there's blood lots of blood uh Steppenwolf hardcore dies hardcore dies when he gets like Superman pummels him which is awesome yeah, and it's not like there's no there's no horns. there's no cheesy, you know what I'm a big fan of justice. Yeah, <laughs> there's no cheesy he, line. W- really, his opening line when he starts to fight Seven Wolf is Seven Wolf is swinging his axe at Arthur at Aquaman, Someone, yeah. and Superman like not comes in, stops it, just like hits him. Yeah, and he just looks at it and goes not impressed. Not impressed. <laughs> and then we get to see him use his ice breath. Yeah. Which, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he freezes it and then shatters it. Yeah. For, Boom. Get, hold on. <laughs> um so that entire fight scene is yeah. awesome jesus <laughs> sorry she's being super clingy today yeah, that's okay um just go lay down honey <laughs> go lay down <laughs> she's just gonna come over here yep there she goes well but now before we get into the most anticipated part that we were all <laughs> most excited for um the the epilogue yeah, of the film because I mean, other than that, like it, the story plays out about the same. There's just some differences. Yeah, you just it's way go, better. You just got to go watch the movie. I don't want to give away too much because yeah. And if you've already seen Josh Whedon's, yeah, there's a lot of flaws with it, but it basically tells the same story just in a way cheesier Shittier way. Cheesier way. Um, yeah. But the overall theme of and the rushed. movie is about the same. The Josh Whedon version is rushed because it's like two hours. In, yeah. I think, like, ten minutes. And they don't resurrect Superman until, like, an hour and 15 minutes yeah. into it. Yeah. It's very dumb. So it's, that's a bit <clears throat> rough yeah. also. But there's the epilogue, which is they actually expand on that nightmare scene um, and that nightmare dream that Bruce has. Yeah. Now, before we do that, though, we do need to talk about one of our sponsors, which this week is uh, it's Cry Baby Craig's. Cry Baby Craig's. So uh, listen up. Jake will tell you all about it. <laughs> hey, you nerds. Do you love spice? Supporting small businesses? What about enhancing the flavor of your favorite foods? If you said yes to any of those, our good friends over at Cry Baby Craig's have the perfect solution for you. 
Crybaby Craig's is a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes perfectly with your favorite foods, adding the perfect amount of spice and enhancing the flavor of everything it touches. Started in Minneapolis by Craig back in 2012, Crybaby Craig's has become a Minneapolis and Minnesota staple in the sauce world. So head over to crybabycraigs.com and order yours today. Um, all right, guys. Uh, now, I think the biggest part of the Snyder Cut that we have to talk about is the the nightmare sequence, the epilogue. Um, Which in this movie they saved for the very end of the movie. It wasn't yeah. sprinkled out. Yeah. I mean, we got like a flash of it yeah. partway through the movie. Yeah. Basically, Cyborg gets a vision mm. from the, the mother, mother box, box. Yeah. Um, right before they ignite it to resurrect uh, Superman. But yeah. this actually goes in depth, and it's post-apocalyptic. <laughs> Basically, the Justice League loses their fight against Darkseid uh, in the future. Well, and then... I we should mention because it wasn't during that scene in the epilogue they do show uh if you've seen the crap version ju the justice league uh when superman does in that nightmare scene when superman does confront bruce he says i loved her and you took her from me wasn't that in dawn of justice oh it was yeah that yeah. was after fuck you're right you're so right yeah cause... but still that's important to mention yeah. because in this one uh, not in the nightmare scene, but you do get to see. I think it was. I think it's at that part where, that you're talking about, where uh, Cyborg sees a glimpse of everything. Yeah. Real quick before they resurrect <clears throat> Superman, they show Superman on his knees holding a burned up body, and then Darkseid basically comes over and sticks his hand on Superman's yeah. shoulder as an embrace. Um, yeah. And so. It's safe to assume that that burnt Lois. corpse is Lois, Lois Lane. Yeah. Um, but for the actual nightmare sequence, uh, it's you know Earth is overrun by parademons, parademons and, and yeah. Darkseid's army, and they're working with the bad guys. They're working with yeah. um, they're working with Slade Wilson, Slade Wilson, which is what's his fucking name? Uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Joe Man Mangialoni, Man Sofia Vergara's husband. That's her husband. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that they were married, but that makes sense. Well, maybe they're not married. They're together. Okay, well, good for him. He's a badass. Like yeah. he's also hilarious. Yeah. Um, if you guys have ever watched How I Met Your Mother, he plays Brad, uh, Marshall's bro friend from law school. I remember. Yeah, he, he was in the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Yeah, he plays yeah. Flash Thompson. He was the bully. Uh, which is also kind of fun. Um, but yeah, he's... Yeah. He, for those of you that don't know, Deathstroke is a... Uh, he's a mercenary. He is... He's like a superhuman he's mercenary. D, he's DC's version of... Only without superpowers, Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson. Yeah, he's kind of like a Deadpool. He's Deadpool. Yeah. But that's why it's <clears> so funny that they... Because they found this out about each other um dc and marvel and they were like well we'll just name him slade wilson instead of wade, wade wilson, wilson. <laughs> yeah and yeah and it's been like an ongoing joke for them but yeah death scene or nightmare scene sorry we got no, it's fine. But yeah. uh <clears throat> and you know so it's batman the flash who now has like that super tech suit yep that we kind of get a glimpse of in Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman when he comes through the Speed Force to warn Bruce, uh, about Bruce Wayne Superman. about Superman and Lois. Um, Lois is the key. Yeah. Yeah. And he has like that, it's like a full on like, like metal. It looks like that lizard that like goes like. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From like Jurassic Park, you know? So his like thing like opens up like that rather than, you know. Yeah. Instead of just like a, a cowl. Yeah. Um, it's, so it's Flash, it's also Cyborg, who has some upgrades. Yep. Um, it's... Mira. Meh. Amber. Amber crap. Heard. <laughs> um. There's a dog outside, and we're waiting for Katie to just flip yeah. tits. Because it's, it's the dog across the hall that she does not like. Um, 
But anyways, uh, <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's, oh, there she goes. <laughs> it's Slade, uh, Batman, Cyborg, Flash, Mira. Mira, and? The fucking Joker, man. And the Joker. And who plays this version of the Joker? Jared Leto. Jared Leto. But it's not the crappy Suicide Squad version with no, all the tattoos. No and face tattoos this time. He's got the long, greasy, green hair, yeah. the smeared makeup. Yeah. Um, and he does a magic trick. And he... Does he? Yeah. When he goes like this, he pulls the card out of nowhere. The Joker card. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. He does. Um, popping each other's assholes. <laughs> Not popping each other's assholes. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. Uh, But, uh, yeah, and they're on the run. They're hiding from the parademons. From Superman. And from Superman. Yeah. Because they specifically say, we need to get out of sight before he finds us. Yeah. Yeah, and then Mira, fuck it, says some dumb shit about... Because at this point in time, Wonder Woman and Aquaman are both dead. Yeah. Um... And she wants revenge for Aquaman's, Aquaman's death. And for some reason, she has a slightly British accent in this. I Yeah, what the fuck was with that? She sucks. Anyways. Uh, yeah, it's not so. good. Because <laughs> also, her slightly British accent is not very good. I'm going to... F- I'm going to find this even more hilarious if it turns out that she is English. She's not. That's really unfortunate. I kind of wish that she was because then her accent would be even worse. (laughs) Like, you don't sound right. Yeah. Maybe get that pity dick out of your mouth. (laughs) Oof. Uh, Sorry. (laughs) Oh, not sorry, though. We hate her. Yeah, she's not good. Yeah. Johnny. At anything. Johnny. Yeah. Justice for Johnny. Justice for Johnny. We still need it. We're still waiting on it. It can come. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but you see Joker. Uh, and him and Batman have kind of a long exchange. Yeah. You know, Joker is like, you know, how many timelines go to hell because of you? Yeah. Because basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to find a way to turn back time yeah. through the Flash, presumably. Yeah. Uh, to reset the timeline so that I would Superman ass- doesn't go evil. I would assume to save Lois. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what we would have seen had Snyder, Zack Snyder continued yeah. the Justice League movies. And there's a call for him, too, and he's kind of on the fence as to whether or not he just wants to be done or if he will continue. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he does. Yeah. But if he doesn't, it was still great to see the Snyder yes. cut. Very much um, so. But one thing that happened in the exchange between Joker and Batman that really got me was he calls Batman Bruce. He calls him by his name, which doesn't happen, you know, in other film iterations. Um, Chad, it happens in some Chad and I comic stories. I slightly disagree on this because. Chad thinks that... Well, it also comes down to, like, the different story arcs, because yeah. there's been how many re- reimaginings of Batman and the Joker. Um, I'll let you go first, though. I, ju- I just don't think it ever mattered to the Joker who Batman was, whether he knew that it was Bruce Wayne or not. It didn't ruin the fun for him. As long as he was still Batman, the Joker could still fuck with him. And I, I agree to that, but what bothered me was, in at least from stories that have stuck out stuck out to me with uh joker is that he never wanted to know who batman was because he didn't care um now there are some storylines where obviously he knows that it's bruce wayne and it still doesn't change anything he's still the joker he's still the clown prince he's still you know just about the chaos it doesn't change the joker but it was just it was shocking for me to hear him say bruce Mm -hmm. because even in like as insane versions of the Joker as like the DC Universe Harley Quinn show. Yeah. Like that version of the Joker got mad when he found out that it was Bruce Wayne because he's like, I didn't want to know. Like, yeah, I didn't care. There's just so many different iterations because that, yeah. I mean, I think the current one right now is that there's three different Jokers. Yeah. In the comics, 
uh, that's why, you know, they can be one in prison while one is still fucking wreaking making, havoc. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think in another iteration of it, it's Alfred is the Joker. Yeah. yeah he, uh, basically they sh- the, him and Bruce have a, all like a interaction and Bruce is upset and walks out of the room and then they show Alfred talking and then while he's talking he starts like putting on makeup and like dyeing his hair green and uh basically when he brings his face back up he's the joker and he says after all every ahab needs his white whale yeah yeah so yeah yeah and there's also iterations there's a lot of where different his mom is the that, joker. well that's the flashpoint yeah paradox. that's yeah. where bruce was the one that died and it drove bruce her di- crazy bruce and- died his dad became Batman, and his yeah. mom went crazy and became the Joker. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it was it was still just weird to hear the Joker call <laughs> yeah. him Bruce. It was also actually really cool seeing Jared Leto play the Joker to Jared Leto's potential because yeah. I like Jared Leto. He's a phenomenal actor, dude. Requiem I, for a Dream. He's a great musician, Dallas and Byers he's Club. a way better actor. Yeah, way better actor. Dallas Buyers and I Club? love Thirty Seconds. To Was Mars. the other? Uh, oh, oh fuck! Um, Even in Fight out. Club. Oh yeah, yeah. He's the blonde. Dude. You're too fucking blonde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What gets movie his am face I just destroyed? Oh, God of War. He plays the cokehead. Nicholas Cage is like cokehead. Yeah, brother. yeah, yeah. yeah that's, oh, he's god, a I forgot real about good that actor. That's... He's a real good actor. And then yeah. fucking the version that he was playing before this was. Yeah, the garbage. crappy Suicide Squad. But not his fault, but it was garbage. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he he did everything that he could to, like, embody the character. Hmm. And I'm sure some of you guys have heard stories and rumors about, you know, things he did on set that just, like, fuck with people. But he, uh, I mean, he's definitely the person that gets into a character. Yeah. And he was robbed having a good character arc in that yeah. film. So it was really great to see him actually get to, like... Give it a... Yeah, even but, if it was such a short like, scene, but he still like came across as that yeah. cynical, just deviant. Yeah, that just. I wonder where does he get in the future like that? Where does he get the makeup for, still? Who's supplying him with the makeup though? Well, uh, the that's probably stained at this point in time. Uh, his eyes are probably just permanently darkened and Batman too. Because Batman uh, yeah, wears makeup around yeah. the around the eyes and his cowl. You just would think that would not be ashes. The biggest they, they uh, burned something. And just <laughs> you would think that wouldn't be there. so important in a post-apocalyptic world. Yeah. Like, hold on, let me get my makeup on, and then let's go kick some ass. Just hold on, I'm doing hot girl shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what's the, the song that they play for that? I don't even know, but I uh, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, in some of the some of the comic storylines, I mean, his skin is bleached because he fell into the, the acid. acne. Yeah. But as for like the rest of the makeup, who knows? And no. but they do show that some of that green is starting to fade Growing because out, yeah. he's got some regrowth going. He needs to go to a salon. Need some highlights. He needs to see Betty at the salon. I don't know why I chose Betty. That's, That's okay. No, I like it. Yeah, green. Yeah. I, get, I see how you got there. Hulk. I I, oh, I'm glad you made the connection because I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked a lady name that wasn't super uh, common, I guess. But anyways, so yeah, that's the Snyder that's pretty cut. Pretty much the end of it. Yeah, I mean, there's so much more we could talk about, but we just don't want to have a four-hour episode explaining yeah. a four-hour movie. Yeah, and so just go we watch also it. Don't want, like it, we waited so long for this film, we don't want to take away. Yeah everything from you guys if yeah. you haven't watched it yet either because it's, awesome. it's awesome um now that being said that being another... said yeah before we get into talking about falcon and the winter soldier uh we do need to talk about our second sponsor as well uh which this week is raise energy drinks what's up nerds i wanted to take a minute and talk to you about raise energy an incredible energy drink that provides max energy with zero crash Raise Energy takes a giant leap of faith with instilling a high-quality formula to bring a powerful yet sustained energetic experience to help you push your workouts and focus to the next level. Perfect for anyone at any time, empowered by their refresh formula technology, 
Ray's Energy delivers a performance-enhancing energy drink that aids in multiple different categories that include targeted focus, better recovery time, improved clean energy levels, and a boost in stamina and hydration. But most importantly, every can of Ray's Energy has absolutely zero calories, zero sugar, and zero carbohydrates to give you a smarter and healthier option. So don't settle for an energy drink that contains more sugar and carbohydrates than you can count. Instead, head over to repsports.com. That's R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and use the promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout for 15% off your order. Or if you don't know what you want, go ahead and click the link that's in the description for, to get a $50 sample pack for free. All you do is you cover the cost of shipping. Again, make sure you use promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout to let them know that we sent you. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, so we are back, and do I even say that? I yeah, you, say that. you can say that. Who cares? Okay, whatever, because you just cut it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, now we're going to dig into uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier a little bit. Uh, yeah. This was the pilot episode. Pilot was episode. on Disney the, Plus came out Friday the Friday. 19th. Friday. Yeah. And it was good. I liked it. I was excited. The, it the started f- out very strong. The first, like, five, ten minutes of it. You're like, holy shit, this is awesome. Yeah, it was insane. Basically, Sam is working as a hero for hire, more or less, for the government. For the government, for the military. Because that's what he knows. He was a a special ops Mm. uh, person before he joined the Avengers. So he kind of goes back to that. Um, We get his... He meets a... I can't even remember the... In the show, his last name in real... I think it's David Ramirez in real life. Um, is kind of like his tech guy, his his boots on the ground kind of person, his point of contact. Um, but oh, it's the kid, yeah, the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay, just okay. he's also just kind of that a, gets his fucking, he's like, a little bit of a fanboy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. He gets stomped down hard by the flag smashers. He is familiar. I've seen him and stuff before. I can't. Yeah, I can't like tell you what he's in. We're you just, keep talking. I'm we're gonna just gonna it do it. You keep um, talking. It starts off really strong. It's a super action-packed. Um, basically, Sam is trying to to rescue a a high-ranking member of the military mm-hmm. uh, who's been kidnapped by uh, Barack the Leaper. Um, who, You're right, Danny Ramirez. Is Danny, his name. not Dave. I'm sorry, Danny Ramirez. Um, but he, uh, we saw. Barack the, I think is it Barack? What? Uh, the the leaper, the the Albanian guy that was also in Winter Soldier. Bullrock. Oh, uh, the UFC fighter. Yeah. Uh, uh that's fucking his, uh, his character. His character's name. Yeah, I don't I know. I think I think it's Bullrock the leaper, not Barack the leaper. Um. But we saw he's back. We saw him first in Captain America: The Winter Soldier. He's the guy that goes f- fist to fist with uh, Captain America on the ship. Uh, he's in real life. He's a UFC fighter, yeah. so he's already super agile. Yeah, it's uh, what's his name, Van Van Zandt? But no, that's a chick. I I don't know. I'm not looking it up. I'm I'm not familiar with a. Uh, nothing UFC is fighters. screaming to me about any of his roles. The the kid you were talking about. Top Gun, and he's going to be in Top Gun, the new I, one. But. I think why he looks so familiar is because he kind of looks like Mario Lopez, like a young Mario <laughs> Lopez. Like, he looks like he should have been in the Save by the Bell reboot. That's racist. Look at his face. He looks like him. Oh, it's uh, George St. Pierre. That's who plays Oh, that George St. Pierre, yeah. The UFC guy. Anyways, yeah. He's the one in Captain <clears throat> America 2 uh, where he goes... Uh, They're fighting on the ship. And he goes, um, I thought you were more than just a shield. And then Captain America puts his shield away and goes, let's find out, and then beats the piss out of the guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so it turns out that his organization, the they call it the LAF, which probably stands for lame as fuck. Um, <laughs> they basically Sorry. they kidnap a general uh, from the military, and they're trying to get him across a country border so that they can't track him without... Yeah. They can't extradite him, basically. Yeah. Um, so it's the super awesome scene of Sam just flying around, dodging missiles. Just, just taking names and kicking ass. 
He yeah. was doing all sorts of cool shit. Literally, like, flying in one he, side of a helicopter. He kicks names kicking, and takes ass is what he does. <laughs> yeah. Kicking people out of the other side of it and then just sitting down and being like, hey, what's up? You know, yeah. like, it was, it was dope. It was super so cool. badass scene. Yeah. Really well done. Um, and that started off the show. And then they kind of, and then they kind of go to over to uh, the other guy, to Bucky, Bucky Barnes, and he's struggling with PTSD. Yeah, he's like hard. He is, uh, yeah. It shows him having like nightmares of like past missions of him killing people, of him killing people, yeah. the innocent bystanders that he had to kill to like keep the entire thing quiet. Yeah. And now he is friends with an old Asian man, who is the father of somebody. That who he, he presum- killed. presumably yeah. killed, yeah. yeah. It and reminds me very much of New Girl, where Nick is friends with Tran. I had... this the guy, who, the Asian guy that doesn't talk. He meets him on like a oh yeah on like a bench. <laughs> on the bench, yeah. And then he ends up dating Tran's daughter. And then in this episode, he ends up going on a date with the old guy's like. I don't know. Well, it's just it's daughter. just the bartender because they they great. get lunch every I'm week. Pretty sure at, it's the at, same girl. Oh, is it really? I'm, I I, <laughs> I was talking about it with Nicole, and I'm almost I'm like ninety five percent sure. I didn't look yeah. it up, but I think so. Um, but it's we need you to play the same person <laughs> that you played in New Girl. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. you're getting typecast as a borderline extra. <laughs> is that okay? Can you play a supporting character for <laughs> half an episode? That's all we need. Um, it's but, great. We get to see, but it some... also shows Bucky like in therapy. Yeah, and you get to see the remorse. Yeah, bit, and he's yeah. talking to the therapist, and at first, it comes across like the therapist is just a big old bitch. Your your standard therapist, like, you need to talk to me. You need to tell me what's going on. We can't help you with this. And he like makes a couple he, of comments, and he's like, she says something to he, he to Bucky. Bullshits his way through it. Yeah, and he's like, is that why you're such a great therapist? And she's like, no, I was a great soldier. Hmm. And then you learn that like the reason that she's kind of helping him is because yeah. She she presumably had to deal with a lot of the same guilt, not the same memories, obviously, but a lot of the same guilt and remorse, and had to overcome it, and is trying to help people yeah. in that similar situation. Yeah. But it. Yeah. So it, some of the big, I think some tough. of the big takeaways from the episode is we Sam, did meet the flag smashers also. Yeah, the flag smashers. Sam also surrenders Captain America's shield to the government just for them to give you a big old fuck you back to him later and we'll get to that in a second yeah but he gives up the shield in a really moving speech yeah where at first you think like he's he might be accepting the shield like hey like this was given to me like i'm honored to step up and he's like he's like you know this is not for me yeah and we see roadie james rhodes oh yeah in in his air force blues uh, at that ceremony, mm-hmm. um, and he even prods Sam a little bit, like, "Hey, man, like, why aren't you, why aren't you going to take up the mantle of Captain America? He yeah. chose you." Yeah. And Sam just keeps reiterating, you know, that last conversation that he had with Cap in the Endgame about how when he gave him the shield, when Cap gave him the shield, he's like, "This feels like it belongs to someone." Someone else, else yeah. <clears throat> and but then Cap Rhodes said, but then it. Cap says it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, so anyways, he key points, key points. Yeah, so he passed on the shield to the government, and the then government, the government, and government came Sam and took goes my back baby. home. <laughs> <laughs> Sam goes back home to to New Orleans to spend time with his family, yeah. uh, to try and help his sister who's struggling financially with their uh, fishing business. Yeah, so it's a yeah. it's a shrimp and yeah. seafood. Uh, I mean, it's New Orleans. I mean, you're going to get that. that Which is where he's from. Anthony Mackie is from New Orleans. Oh, is he really? Yeah. That's super cool. I didn't know that. Um, And so he's just trying to help. And his sister's like, you can't just like come and go. Yeah. And just think that like you offering to like give money or help financially is going to make up for the fact that like you weren't here. Yeah. Because she's trying to get out of because it was their parents business. Yeah. Parents are dead now. Yeah, and they're... but it's fifty fifty. The parents left it to both of them, yeah. not just her. And she's very much acting like it was left to just her because he hasn't been around. Yeah, in her defense. Yeah. But now he's there trying to help, and he's saying like, "Yo, it's mine too. Yeah, let me help you." 
Even though but I, it's funny, I think they, that he's a little in the wrong there because well, yeah, no, totally. just because he has names taken, it doesn't mean that yeah, it doesn't belong to him. It is at funny all. when they go him. to the bank though, yeah, and the guy's like, ah, "What do I know you from?" or whatever, and he goes, "Come on," and he goes, "He's like, you're the Falcon." He goes, "Yeah," and they high five each other and shit, dude. Yeah, he's I like, "Yeah, like, I can't give you a loan." Uh, you. And he goes, "I don't want to feel." Or what is that? Get out of here, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> and he's like. Uh, yeah, so you haven't had any income for five years, and Sam's like, uh, I was dead. it's kind of hard to have income when you don't exist. Yeah. Because he, he got, he got blipped. Yeah. And the bank still denies their loan to, like, mm. help them, like, you know, get back on, on top with their, their money. <laughs> My dog is so clingy right now. <laughs> You'll she's eventually good. end up seeing her on, on film a lot more, I'm sure. Oh, she's coming um, up right now. Come she's on. coming up right now. Say Guys, hi, everyone, this is Katie. Oh, you can't see her because the microphone's in the way. Uh, she's a see her. Hey, she's a rescue. She's a German Shepherd Husky mix. Uh, she's four years old. Take the fucking thing. Yeah, take your. Take you your brought t- it up here. Hey. Okay. You're the worst. Katie, oh, thank you. Katie, come on. Hop down. If my dog sees it, you know how much trouble I'm going to be in. Get down. Well, she can't no, get down right get down. there. That Over way. Here. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Right on the mouth. Okay. Bye. Cool. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> oh, he did. I tried to pull it. I tried to pull it. <laughs> and she's coming right back over. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> Jake I... didn't shove her off. <laughs> Just go lay down. Anyways, yeah. So Falcon wins. <laughs> it's uh, good. Give it a watch. Um, what are some is, other notable? It's a. Um, it's a little bit of a. Well, slow we should episode. talk about the bad guys that step into scene here a little bit yeah so the we kind of threw around the name the flag smashers basically they're uh anti-government terrorist organization yeah. it's a little v for vendetta um they haven't they, shown who the bad guy is yeah but he's strong yeah they haven't shown full faces I yet mean, he kicked the guy like 20 feet across Away. the street into like a fucking light yeah. pole he stomps danny ramirez's Ooh. face in uh, yeah. doesn't kill him, but no. it, they say later in the episode that he like broken orbital broke his yeah. fucking skull. Yeah. Um, and they look super intense, yeah. and then it's gonna be fun. Sam starts looking into the flag smashers a little bit, and then there's a a press conference on TV of the same government official that accepted the shield from Sam and for they- turning it in or for turning it over to the government. And he basically takes Sam's entire speech and recites it back to the people just so that they can introduce the new Captain America. Captain Agent, as we said last week. Yeah, U.S. Cap- Agent. Captain Fuckface. Yeah, Captain Fuckface. <laughs> Which is, you know, he looks like the Gerber baby, so that makes sense. The the new Gerber baby? I, what do you mean? I don't know. The Gerber baby. Is there a new the, Gerber baby? I don't. I've only the, known one Gerber the, baby. The new Gerber. They they change the Gerber baby every so many years because obviously it doesn't stay a baby forever. But the new Gerber baby has Down syndrome. Oh, <laughs> I didn't oh. know. I didn't know that. That's fucked up because I didn't know that. That's not fair. I'm thinking of like the old school like 1950s kid with the like swoop in his hair. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was but, about to be real bad. But... <laughs> I mean, he doesn't look like that, but... He, what does he look like? He looks like Carl from Up. Carl the, from Up. The old man. The old man. When he puts the... Imagine Carl from Up... In a Captain America Captain mask. Captain America helmet mask. He looks ridiculous. He looks... And the angle that they show him at, it's... It's Wyatt Russell, so he doesn't it's look Kurt like Russell, that in it's Kurt real Russell life. Russell and Goldie Hawn's son. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's, that in real he's life. He's actually a very handsome man. But the angle that they show him at is very un- is from like down here. Like here. It makes his face look super squished. And he has like, no facial hair, so he's like a clean. That's why I said Gerber baby. He was like just baby face, yeah. and he's got like these huge lips, and his ears stick oh, out God. like Dumbo. <laughs> That was intense, bro. I tried to hold it back. It wasn't... Uh... You've been holding that for like an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah he looks he, ridiculous. He looks <laughs> just goofy as fuck. Yeah. Even the costume is dumb. Well, it's comic accurate. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. So in the comics, it's but they show US Sam, agent. But they show Sam. He's watching the... 
yeah. what do you the, call it ceremony the whatever the, it is. the c-span special announcement whatever <laughs> yeah the press conference about and it and that's and that that's the, end of the episode. yeah i even i was hoping there'd be an end credit scene there was so was i watched yeah but there is no end credit scene on this one. I will. We will personally watch every episode and tell you which episodes have end credit scenes. This one did not. Yeah. If you want to wait till the Wednesday after they come out to find out. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah um, yep. There's otherwise, that. you can find there out is, for yourself. There is that. <laughs> but we will let you know in case you don't watch the credits. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's. I mean, it's a fun episode. It was good. Yeah. It's setting up a lot. There's a lot that's going to be happening, and I think a lot of there's going to be a lot of character development for Bucky also. Yeah. Um. To the point where he, Bucky by the, got a haircut. By, by the, the end of the show, he probably would be a, a worthy Captain America. Yeah. I hope so. I hope that we get both of them. You know. Yeah. The team Captain America. Team Cap. Yeah. Share the shield. America. Yeah. America. Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so good though. <coughs> anyway, but yeah, that's the end of uh, the first episode. That's all we have to talk about as far as that goes. Yeah. Those are the two things. Watch both of them, please. Yeah. Tag and, us. And ask if us you, questions. If you guys caught stuff, I mean, there's there's a lot of Easter eggs. There's a lot of like random numbers mm. shown throughout the Falcon, the Winter yeah. Soldier that usually, tied a certain comic. Yeah, book usually those articles. are which we've learned through Wandavision is it, it's like a shout out to the comic that they took inspiration yeah. from. Or yeah, that's like that. really all it is. Not necessarily a foreshadowing of yeah. the story. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, you you know. Uh, this guy will tell you the website. Yeah, so feel free to reach out. You can always find us at uh, www.allthingsnerdpodcast.com. And uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have about it, uh, yeah. if we can. Yeah, you can also email us at hello at allthingsnerdpodcast.com. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We're now on Twitch as well. Uh, so we're going to be doing more live streams in the future. Yeah. Um, we kind of which means more giveaways. That, that more giveaways. Um, we're also going to start streaming like different things that we do, not just power hours, but like yeah. games. I know that um, if you guys can see compared to last week, there is n- nothing on my walls anymore. That's because I'm in the process of packing and moving. Um, so I will be moving to Ohio. Yeah, it's for lovers though. It really it's is. For her, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio is for lovers. Uh, for all those emo kids out there. But we will, um, while I'm out there, I'm not going to have a lot of things to do. Um, so I'm going to be also streaming, like, yeah. gameplay. We've had a couple um, of requests for, like, well, a request. But uh, yeah. for it to play, like, some online magic on Twitch yeah, and like stuff like that. So Magic. I want to get a, a D&D campaign going yeah. all digitally. Um, there'll, there'll be ways to be a part of that that isn't just following us and raising your hand and being like, please, me. Um, but we will be doing things like that as well as, like, streaming video games. Uh, we're going to start throwing out uh other just video only content yeah in the future like with 10 like, minute videos or something with like, like quick that. recaps of various <clears throat> other things i know that there's graphic novels that i want to get into or like if a trailer drops like that day like we could be yeah. like yo the trailer just dropped for x y and z we want to yeah. be we want to be on top of it because yeah. right now we're just doing this once a week um and you know so much happens in a week but we also <clears throat> don't want to take up two and a half hours of your time for a single episode so we're going to start adding more content going forward um and we hope that you guys like it so please if you're watching this like the video share it smash that subscribe button uh click follow depending on what platform you're on i don't know where they are in comparison to video like and subscribe um follow share Tell your postman. The Tell everybody. Man. Yeah, we're just, here. If you like what we're doing, awesome. If you don't like what we're doing, email us. And if it's super mean, we'll probably make fun of you. Uh, but if it's only kind of mean, we'll probably cry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cry regardless. Well, yeah. 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 
Uh, but with that being said, uh, before we uh, before we uh, end this episode, uh, we're going to go quickly uh, get one more shot that we forgot. To get. Yeah, that we for- <laughs> that we forgot. That's, That's why, why we have to go fuck. get it. Uh, so we're gonna go get one more shot. We're gonna cheers out, and mm-hmm. then uh, thank you guys so much for being a part yeah, of this. We appreciate it. Uh, we'll say thank you one more time before we're done. But hang tight. All right, so uh, Wynn got some shots. Uh, bef- just thank you guys so much. We love you guys. Follow us on all the social medias that you want. And this has been the All Things Nerd Podcast. Boom.